badminton bats. And as we've got here, a very poorly handle. I've had to strip this one off because it turned my hand black, as did this one, as the grip completely disintegrated and left a lovely squidgy mess. So I've peeled that off. The purple one has been peeled off um, as best I can, but there's still some left here. So I might have to have another go at that one. But there's not much to it underneath. And I'm gonna re-grip them using these Senston grips. And hopefully it should look a lot more neater. And I've had a quick go. And that's the finished product, which is pretty good. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. It's gone on quite nicely. I need to do a bit more finishing at the end here because that's not as neat as it used to be. But overall, that grip is much improved. It's brand new. And um, I'll show you how I did it just to see if it's useful in future. So here's our grips. I bought a pack of five. Now the outer kind of ribbon, if you like, you need that because this piece here is your top. So that's your finishing tape at the top here. And that's just really a bit like electrical tape, actually. Same sort of uh, feel to it. And we've got the sticky back to peel off here. So once you peel off that, you can use that to seal the end. And I suppose if, you, uh, if you're if you neat, you can probably get that showing, the Senston branding. And then here's our grip. So they give you a nice little red tab here to pull. So just bend that back. And that allows you to peel off this protective layer. Ooh, the satisfaction. God, that's a long one, isn't it? That is a long one. It's coming off in one though. Boosh. So it's got a kind of foam layer underneath as well, and that gives you this lovely ribbed texture for extra grip and control. So there we go. So it's quite long, and the first procedure, they tell me, is to peel off this shiny outer. So there should be a little area here to peel. There we go. So peel that off, and that's revealing the rubber grip that you're gonna to touch. So this isn't sticky. This is just purely the uh, protection, if you like, for the outer layer. So it's kind of like a rubber, actually. And then their instructions are you hold the racket um, like this. So you've got the butt end here. And you'll need to start wrapping like this. So you've got this they call it, I think, hypotenuse angle. It's got like a cutout, it's tapered on one end, on one side of it. The bottom is flat, but you can see there's a taper there. So you need to hold that and start winding like this. And you need to place it right at the top and then start winding around. And they say the first few winds make it nice and tight. So when you start to do that, you need to peel off this little sticky bit here. Let's peel that off. This is just a tiny bit of stick just to start you off. So I'm going to stick that right at the top. Give it a nice press. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hold it reasonably tight. And then start winding. I'm going to hide the staple because that looks ugly. There we go. Once you've got a couple of windings underneath, we're going to start with our main grip. And automatically it kind of allows you just to get it quite neat. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna have my edge just underneath the ribbed piece. So that's gonna go like that. Now you've got plenty, for, especially for a badminton racket. So don't be afraid to get right up close. And then we're gonna keep winding around using, you know, moderate pressure. I'm not pulling it too much, but keeping it nice and neat. Keep it going round. So we're working our way at the top. Keep going round. And then finally, 
when we're at the neck, you'll need to do a bit of trimming. And again, they say at the very top, just before you get there, give it a bit more of a, a pull, just so that it kind of molds to the tapered neck here. And then once you're at the top, use your discretion. You, you know, you probably want to have the label showing. This one's a head. So there's the top of the neck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this by just cutting here. So just get a pair of scissors and cut that. Give it a cut across there. And then what you'll do then is you'll use your finishing tape. Here it is. And you'll just tie that around. So just gonna make sure I'm happy with this and then we'll come back and I'll do a cut. Right, here we are. So I'm happy with how that looks. Pretty neat. So I'm just gonna make sure that I've covered just enough of the grip there. You can still see a bit of the wood. So I'm gonna come across here and then we'll give this a cut because we don't want too much excess. Um, I don't think it matters too much if you cut it at an angle. So you can just experiment to see what's best. And then now we need to use our tape. So it might be useful to get this stuck somewhere ready for use. And then we're gonna stick this over here just on the neck. And you're really just hiding the uh, multitude of sins of your design, because I don't think it's gonna be quite as good as the original, unfortunately. And then what you're doing is you're gonna use this lovely tape. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, um, there's a bit of kind of sticky already here. So I'm gonna use that to give me a bit of a base. Stick that down like that, just to get it stuck on. Oh, look, it's upside down. So I'm gonna get it the right way up. And I'm gonna stick some down on the end here. Just there like that. And then underneath, let's peel the backing. Where is it? There we go, there's our backing. I'm gonna peel that off and then just wrap this round. And you can do this as many times as you feel necessary. There we go. Unfortunately, I have gone over the head logo, but it doesn't really matter. Give it a good old press down. And that's us complete. So that yeah, looks quite neat. You know, it's not gonna last forever, but to be fair, the original one's just disintegrated with time anyway. So pretty happy with that. It's nice and neat at the bottom, it's staying there. There we go. Yeah, feels pretty good. So I've got two more to do. This lovely sticky one. And you can just about make out there's loads of bits of, it's almost like it turned into tar. So it's made a right old mess. So I might need to give that a clean up. Interesting how it's made. It's just this kind of shaft put onto the, the wooden bit. So we've got that one to do. And then finally our lovely purple. And this is what the uh, excess is. So. How strong is it? Oh, very strong. Yeah, this is really good stuff. Can't tear it. So yeah, it's got some perforated holes for look. And there's our foam. And that's stuck down very well as well, actually. That's very sticky. So I think that will last quite a few years. Pretty happy with that. So two done, two to go. So there we go, there's the last one. It's the purple one. Get a bit of this grossness off at the bottom. There we go, that's the grip finished. The old grip that is. And then there's our new grip on. And that looks really cool. And there's our finishing end. As you do more of them actually, you get a little bit better. So a bit neater at the top there, but I think for our casual use, that's gonna be great. So yeah, that feels really nice. And there's our collection of new handles. So yeah, pretty straightforward. They seem to stick on quite well. So I hope it helps. Thanks for watching. Bye.